bitches, every city in my tribe. Uh, look, 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 look behind. Booty dominate the world, peaches ripe. <laughs> Just the Hi. fact that I got on before Ryan. Hoes <laughs> before so bros. <laughs> Sorry, Rusty. Actually, Vera, you're a Sagittarius, right? Yes, I am. Yeah, fire before signs pals. before before sco- Scorpios before water signs. Blech. <laughs> Wait, Naomi, what are you? You're Virgo. I'm you're Virgo. an Earth sign. Mm-hmm. Yes, I knew that. I didn't break my finger for a 10 second story. All right, y'all. What did you want me to read to kill a mockingbird? <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> I promised the story. I didn't say how long it was going to be. If I get a line, yeah, she, I will read to kill a mockingbird. She didn't give qualifiers. Why? Why to kill a mockingbird? I don't know. I like that book. It's a good like book. I'm just curious, like. I don't know, it's just the first one that came in mind. Did you guys read it in high school? Leo, we did. Love My white teacher read it to us and she continuously said the N word. Like, she was very proud of it too. She's like, oh, it's just for really just for education purposes. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Our, was like, this ours too. It's like their moment to shine for the white teachers. Oh, yeah. They love it. They're like, um, awful. I yeah, don't forget about the bedtime teachers, story. Like, we already I think we had like three black people in our community. But they, they didn't read, like, we read it in high school, they didn't read it to us. It was a signed reading. Oh, and no. then we watched the movie. We and then my like mom a... bought it for me. Damn. We had like an assigned reading, so where you would read like two chapters at home, and then you would come to class and you would read like half a chapter. Um, And she always chose the chapters with the N-word and like very much emphasized it. Like she was like... She was just very proud to say it. It was very strange. What a shifo robe was. I don't know if I know what that is right now. I'm going to Google it. That is. So you were on Jovan's live last night, right? Naomi, when I went on there? Oh, um, yes, I think so. Mm, yeah, yeah, we were on there together. When he said um, he doesn't like when like young white kids come on and say like, I know systemic racism exists and I'm white. I don't see how anyone I else agree. can deny it. Can you yeah. can you explain that to me? Like, Yeah, so a lot of the times it's sort of like invalidating because it's like when a black person says it or when a person of color says it, um, it's sort of like I'm white and I know systemic racism doesn't exist. Like when they come in to say that, it's sort of like it valid, like it validifies it more just because you're white. Like you can you can acknowledge that systemic racism exists, but you don't have to speak over a black creator when he's talking about it and then bring up the fact that you are white to sort of like further validify the point, I guess. So um, let me ask both of you, how do you be like a good white ally? Do you just support people of color and essentially not speak for them? No, I would say don't speak for them, but I would say advocate for them. I would say um, give them a platform. Like, for example, if you were talking about, like, POC struggles and you are in a room with, like, complete POCs and you're the only white person there, you should not be the first one who's, like, trying to answer all the questions and the first one who's like, oh, yeah, yeah, it's because of blah, 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 blah. It's like, it's not your place. But if you are somebody who's a real ally, you would be trying to amplify their voice, trying to um, educate other people, trying to uplift their voices, and then further on your own time trying to, um, you know, speak um, a little bit on the struggle, but not as if you were to experience it. I don't know how to talk about it. I don't like really know how to explain it, but no, that's it's, good. It's really... And someone said I don't have yeah. white savior complex, so thank you. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah. yeah. But it's, I... it's really the way that you like speak about the struggle and if you're constantly just talking over it like for example let's say I'm in a room I'm a person of color but I'm not black let's say I'm in a room with a black person and they are talking about a black struggle like specifically a black struggle every two seconds I shouldn't be like oh yeah and by the way blah, 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 and like interrupt them like I should uplift their voice I should give them the platform to like speak but you know don't you Ryan know, said like, he'd pay for your student them, loan debt for a story <laughs> Ryan, my Venmo is in my bio. I will give you I a long story. I think she needs money up front. 
She's yeah, lying. I don't she think... won't even do a face reveal for a thousand dollars. Vera, Vera, did you want to add a story for a thousand dollars? Um, no, I think Naomi explained it pretty well. Like, um, it's it's kind of exactly that. It's like you want to use because like society will defer to white voices so it's like if um you're somewhere like i don't know how to it, it it's actually harder to explain than i thought it would be but it's like oh yeah um yeah definitely like if they you see that there's like an injustice or like like somewhere that their voice is not being heard but yours is it's like to allow them like use your voice to allow them to speak but don't speak for them i think is the best way to say it absolutely and and i don't i and i hear now what naomi said like don't frame it in a way that because i'm white therefore my opinion now validates exactly exactly. yeah exactly because i i feel um when i was talking about with jovan I feel that it was just more acknowledging, like, I just don't know how white people can be so willfully ignorant. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just a lack of, like, actually trying to educate yourself. And I mean, I'm not going to lie. I'm a person of color and I was very ignorant on a lot of things before I, like, actually took the time to educate myself. But I think when you're willfully ignorant, it's even worse because people are trying to get you to understand. People are putting in the effort to get you to understand and you just don't care don't be weird kev we can't buy naomi's voice what is going on (laughs) there's gonna be bets on your voice ryan's gonna sell one of his lambos i just have to text someone back so i'll be right back you're good i'm gonna start making jars that i just talk into and selling them on amazon for like 20 dollars oh my god (laughs) start your own voice in a jar (laughs) i mean how else am i gonna pay for this broken car for real start an etsy shop girl pause (laughs) i'm so dead that's what i'm gonna do naomi's voice in a bottle naomi can you whisper please guys that's just weird that's weird Like, I only see her coins at twenty one, so let's see some let's see some cool gifts, and maybe maybe Guys, she'll I'm perform. Half white and half Asian slash Arab. So would I be considered a person of color or white or just mixed? Well, you would be considered mixed, but it depends on what kind of Arab or Asian you are, and whether or not you are like a white Arab, because there's black Arabs, white Arabs, etc. And then there's also like brown Asians. You know, it really depends. I could probably clone your DNA from spit particles. <laughs> Bad oh idea. What the fuck? We're, We're desperate. <laughs> Naomi, I'm left with I would you 100% too. Watch an ASMR stream. Give the people what they want. Yeah, <gasps> buy some, buy some Thank mics. You. Ooh, look, there you go. There's some music, Naomi. Thank you. If I got a lion, oh, I would Oh, yeah. Thank you for bringing that up. Thank um, you so much. I do want to say thank you to everybody. I just noticed that my profile is now at 10K. So thank you for all the likes. Yay! For all the yeah. follows. Let's clap. <laughs> <laughs> We're so proud. Whoever thought being pro-choice would make you popular. We're Yay. so proud. I'm still I'm so shocked oh, look by at my this. popularity. Oh, <laughs> thank you, guys. <laughs> I know Blackbird. Like, yeah, I'm. <laughs> I'm like Blackbird small beans compared to you. Black Blackbird has like three hundred and seventy five thousand followers. Like, he's a big creator. Thank you for the gift. Blackbird is oh, that no. bitch. Blackbird is. When it comes to followers, he has it all. I'm so fucking cute, bitch.